zu mit meinem Namibia a formation of calcite. Now there's a slight greenishness to it, which could be caused most likely by some duftite. There's a, almost a duftite green on that section. Um, I'm going to go around. Now from a display point of view, I would display it with the prominent crystals over here jutting out this side. So we're going to go, we're going to go with the reflections now, going across like that. Calcite, water clear calcite, and there's this greenishness, which is most likely we'll find either a dusting of tiny duftite crystals or we'll find uh, inclusion of the duftite in the in the calcite. A little bit of a rainbow effect at that angle on that face. I think on the still pictures it's actually very difficult to determine the actual uh, 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 point of view of the specimen. It's always what's important to me when I get a specimen, there must always be a logical point of display. Uh, so the logical point of display here would be you have larger uh, a crystal here. And you have larger one at the bottom. So maybe this one would have to be displayed flat, going on a turntable like that, where you have a focus of all the crystallization going across. And of course, we go in like this, there you can see the individual crystal faces. Let's give you an idea on the reflections. All the way from the famous old Sumeb mine in Namibia. Nice, fresh, slightly green uh, uh, calcite.